Harvey. Lewis. Jessica said Harbin wants us to work on the Reinsdorf case together. She said the same thing to me. Well, I'm here to help, not get in a fight. My feelings exactly. Good. I thought we could start by talking strategy. I'm sorry, but are you first chair? No, you are. But I just thought that... Doesn't matter what you thought, because our strategy is to go after their general counsel. And when would you like to depose this guy? Never, because I'm going to put that asshole on the stand and I'm going to crack him like a piece of matzo on Passover. Lewis, you put him on the stand without deposing him, you'll be asking questions you don't know the answers to. So what? So that's the number one rule of lawyering. Well, thank you, F. Lee Bailey, and here I thought the number one rule was to know your goddamn place. And I don't need to take advice from a sixth-year associate. And I don't need to take a loss on my record because you're too insecure to listen to reason. You know what, Harvey? You don't need to take anything because you're not in charge. So it's up to you. You're gonna get on board, or you're gonna go crying to mama. You're right, Lewis. You're the partner. I'm just here to back you up. All right, Lewis, I've tried to be reasonable, but I'm not gonna sit around and watch this anymore. As of this moment, you're no longer in charge of the associates. Says you in what army? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. I said you can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. Because even though Harvey clearly didn't tell you, as of last night, I'm a senior partner. You're what? That's right. I gave Harvey a check for half a million dollars. I'm a partner now, Lewis. Which means your whole you're up here and I'm down here bullshit? Not anymore. Partner? You're not even a lawyer. Neither are the chief operating officers of four of the top nine firms in the world. This is bullshit. I didn't agree to any of this. I don't care whether you agreed to it or not. You're gonna live with it. And I don't give a shit what your supposed title is. I'm not giving up my associates. And if you think you're gonna leave this bathroom without giving me the respect I deserve... I'm not giving up my associates! That's enough! Harvey, what the hell kind of shit did you pull? Shut up and listen, Lewis. Donna asked for a seat at the table, and I gave her one. Because when she worked for me, she had my back and would kill anyone coming for me. And when she worked for you, she did the same exact thing. Not to mention, if she left tomorrow, this firm would be a pile of rubble within 15 minutes. So then give her a raise. You don't make her goddamn senior partner. If Jessica were here, she'd tell you to do the same exact thing. Well, Lewis, Jessica isn't here. But I am. Thank you, Harvey. Don't thank me yet. You asked for a vote, you got it. But the person who's going to decide when that vote is, is me. And I say our first order of business is putting out word that Harvey Specter is the new managing partner. Now, you want to vote on that? Let's do it. But if it's not unanimous, we're going to have a big problem. No problem here. What about you, Lewis? You got a problem with me calling the shots? No, Harvey. No problem, your managing partner. Good. Then I suggest the two of you get your sh together before tomorrow, because right now I got some things to take care of. I want to speak to whoever the hell's in charge of recruiting, and I want to speak to him now. I'm afraid that's not possible. What do you mean it's not possible? I mean, you'll have to make an appointment. We don't take walk-ins. Well, I'm not a walk-in. My name is Lewis Litt, from the firm Pierce Inspector Litt. Wait, you can't go in there. Oh, yes, I can. If you people think that you could dismiss our firm, you have another thing come. Sheila. Lewis. What are you doing here? Uh, well, I've worked at Columbia for the past six months. But you said you'd never leave Harvard. I did, Lewis. But... But what? My fiancé lives in the city, and I wanted to be with him. Fiancé? Yes. We're getting married in two weeks. I'm sorry, Lewis. You don't need to be sorry. And I understand why you didn't send the applications over. You didn't want me to be hurt. I didn't. But now that you know, there's no reason to punish you or the firm. I guess not. I'll send over our best and our brightest and make sure they understand it's an opportunity to learn at the foot of a master. It's good to see you, Sheila. Good to see you, too. Gretchen, I told you I'm not taking any calls. Lewis? Sheila, you called my private line. Is this a bad time? You wouldn't say it's a great time. Lewis, I lied when I said I didn't tell you about being at Columbia because I didn't want to hurt you. Well, why didn't you tell me? Because I haven't gotten you out of my system. And when I say that, what I'm really saying is...
Lewis, I want your body one last time before I walk down that aisle. Say what now? I want to devour every inch of your flesh. I want you to rock my world six ways from Sunday. I want I think I get you to not interrupt me. Because I demand to travel to the moon and back seven to nine more times. And when life shattering 12 to 36 hour period. Oh my God. That's what I plan on making you scream until you can't scream anymore. Sheila, where is this coming from? You know exactly where it's coming from. It started the second you strutted into my office like a Viking god, ready to pillage a helpless maiden. I, I was just coming in to check in on the candidates. I didn't even know that you were. That's it makes it so hot. Sheila, even though this image is making my Viking mast unfurl to full sail, I don't think what you're suggesting is a good idea. Well, that's because I haven't told you that I'm finally going to let you do that thing that you always wanted to do. Even the? Yes. And with the? Yes. What about the accent? <gasps> with all the accents, Lewis. With all the accents. What about the lisp? No. I feel I can't. I respect your integrity, Lewis. But not enough to stop me from waiting for you tomorrow night in our old hotel suite. The war room? The very one. <laughs> Lewis, you've got to come down to the bullpen for a second. You're not going to believe what Brian cooked up for the Langston settlement. I can't right now, Rachel. Why not? It's only going to take a second. Because I'm not getting up right now, Rachel, and there's nothing you could say to change that. Lewis, what's going on? Just got off the phone with Sheila. She's getting married, and she wants to have one last fling before she goes down the aisle. And you don't want to do that because you don't want to be that kind of person. No, I don't. So then what's the problem? Problem is, is I haven't had anything go my way in so long. I can't remember what that's like. And I could really use a night where I could forget my pain and feel good about myself. Louis, I can't tell you what the answer is because it's not a small thing to do something like that. But if it helps, I know you have a good heart. So whatever you decide, it's not going to change how I feel about you. Thanks, Rachel. How the hell can I calm down? I was watching my mud mare come true. You don't know what you saw, Louis. I'm sorry. I forgot I was blind. I must have dialed your number using my braille phone. You know that's not what I meant. No, you're right. It's the only explanation as to why I wouldn't know what I just saw, which was Harvey and Alex, arm in arm, laughing at me. Lewis, listen to me. We knew this was going to happen. That I was going to be betrayed by my best friend? No. That you were going to try to be good. Did it. Try not to be you. Accomplished. Then perceive a potentially non-existent slight and go straight to stage seven. What the hell are you talking about? Panic, sorrow, self-loathing, hatred, Justification, self-loathing again, and rage. I call it the seven stages of Lewis. You are so full of shit, and you're a total fraud, and I'm actually gonna f I, 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 I see your point. Stage 7B. And no one likes a gloater, Stan. <laughs> Be that as it may. You need a strategy, Lewis, for now and the next time this happens. <sighs> the breathing exercises. It's the only thing that's ever worked for you. What'd I do without you, Doc? No need to go down that road, my friend. Now, picture yourself near the ocean, laying in the sand. Isn't it lovely? You want me to do what? You said before that you would do anything in your power to help me. Well, now I'm asking. Louis, I meant in this office, and you know it. You're asking me to pretend to be someone I'm not, which is a violation of my license. Not according to Munley v. Maryland, it's not. I don't know what that is. Well, that's because you're a psychiatrist and not a lawyer. But what I need you to be is the head of a German pharmaceutical company. Lewis. Stan, please. I already let Donna down, and I can't do anything to help that. And if I let someone down that I care about twice in two days, what kind of partner am I? More importantly, what kind of friend? Lewis, I'm sorry. Violation of my license or not, what you're asking me to do is unethical, and I won't do it.
well? I'm sorry, Alex. He said no. Lewis, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to fly off the handle like that. What are you kidding? That was the best thing I've seen in weeks. So, you're not mad? Mad? I'm blown away. It was like watching a fierce, manly butterfly emerge from its pussy little cocoon. Where the hell did that Brian come from? I don't know. I guess you can say a lot of things about me, but when you insult my ability as a father... It brings out the line in you. It's something like that. But I promise it won't happen again. But I want it to happen again. In fact, when you draft the restraining order, I want you picturing that asshole laughing to his buddies about what a shitty father you are. Think about it when you're writing the opening, think about it in the middle, and definitely think about it when you write the close. Because Mufasa Brian is the only Brian I want to see from now on. Hello? Hi, I'm Lewis Litt, here for my 9 a.m. appointment. Hello? Ah, yeah, Mr. Litt, we've been expecting you. I'm sorry, but did you just speak in a German accent? Uh, please, take in the seat. Holy sh you're a goddamn Nazi. What did you just say to me? I said I'm not gonna sit here and talk to you about the weather, let alone my goddamn feelings. Thanks, but no thanks, Wiener Schnitzel. Please, Louis, just give me two minutes. Two minutes. First of all, I take it you're Jewish. Yeah, I'm not comfortable answering that right now. Well, it seems very clear, based on the fact that you just called me a Nazi. What's your point? Would it interest you to know that I'm Jewish too? Yeah, well, take out your circumcised junk and maybe I'll believe you. I'm not going to do that, Louis, but I will tell you that my parents were both children during the war. They survived by fleeing the country and felt it their duty to eventually return and raise both my sister and myself as proud Germans and Jews. So, if you want to leave because you don't like the way I speak, I understand. But if not, why don't you tell me what brings you here? I'm here because no matter what I do, nobody respects me. Your Honor, the prosecution calls Donna Paulson to the stand. Your Honor, I move to have that witness disallowed. On what grounds? On the grounds that he's only calling the witness because he has a personal ax to grind. Trying to explain to the court why you'd call a witness whose testimony is privileged. How exactly is it privileged? Because it's work product. On a case, by the way, that made Harvey Specter's name instead of yours. And now you're trying to use it to smear his reputation, Your Honor. Clifford Danner has nothing to do with Elmont Investments. Donna Paulson's work on it is covered under privilege, and this entire case should be thrown out right now. Your Honor, the only reputation being smeared here is mine, but more importantly, I agree. Clifford Danner has nothing to do with this. In fact, if anything even remotely resembling that name comes out of my mouth, feel free to hold me in contempt. But in the meantime, unless the defense would like to bring up what I had for lunch in the third grade, I'd like to call my witness. Your Honor. Ms. Paulson, please take the stand. Ms. Paulson, could you please state your employment history prior to becoming a legal secretary? I was an actress. Were you able to make a living at that? No. I worked as a waitress to supplement my income, but I don't see what that well, is. How much do you make now, Ms. Paulson? Somewhere in the six figures? Yes. It's quite an improvement on minimum wage plus tips, wouldn't you say? What can I say? I'm very good at what I do. And was shredding a document related to the Coastal Motors case that your firm tried years ago one of the things that you were good at doing? How the hell does he know about that? It doesn't matter, he knows. Ms. Paulson, I'll ask you again. Did you destroy evidence on that case? And I'll remind you that you're under oath. Objection. The document he's referring to was fake. It's not illegal to get rid of fraudulent documents. Did she know that when she destroyed it? It doesn't matter. So unless he plans to prosecute the witness for doing her job... I plan to ask the witness questions. I'd like the chance to do that. Your Honor, Mr. Spector, back off. Witness will answer the question. Yes, I shredded the file. That's your boss's request. No. Ms. Paulson, were you fired during the Coastal Motors trial and then rehired one week later? Yes, but... And since then, you've become your firm's chief operating officer, but you're not a lawyer, are you? You don't need to be a lawyer to be a COO. Then do you have an MBA? No, I don't. Of course you don't. 
All you have is a bachelor's in theater and you were a part-time waitress, part-time actress when you quit to become a legal secretary, which is what you were until Harvey Specter made you COO overnight. Tell me, do you have any of the qualifications normally required for that position? I have been at the firm longer than anyone. I know how it works. Oh, so do I, by breaking the law and then rewarding the people that do. That's a lie. Well, then how did you get your promotion? Because there's only two ways I can think of when you're not qualified and they're both pretty distasteful. Objection, that's inflammatory. Answer the question. I'll tell you how I got it. I asked for it. You asked for it? Well... You know, if that's all it takes, maybe I should ask Mr. Spector for a pony. Except I don't think that's all it takes. I think it takes destroying evidence, getting fake fired, and a little acting ability to pull it off. Your Honor, he's testifying. Yeah, well then I'll wrap it up. Because if she was willing to destroy evidence in that case, she's willing to do it in this one. And that is why the memo referred to in that article no longer exists. Your Honor, I've heard enough. This case is moving forward. And I'm allowing that article to be admitted as evidence. Louis, this is your safe place. You feel dirty, but soon your mind and your body will be as pure as snow. Let the mud wash away your troubles as it enters your pores. It is not an intrusion. It is a cleansing. Wonderful. God damn it, Ricardo. I told you to not interrupt me. Sheila, what are you doing here? Louis, ever since the other night, I've been wrestling with whether I made the right decision. So have I, but I don't, I don't think that we Then should. we're in agreement, which means we can do it again, and again, and again. Oh, oh mommy. And again, and again. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, Sheila. I need to know, does this mean you're not marrying your fiance? No, it doesn't. The wedding's next week. Sheila, listen to me. That night was one of the greatest nights of my entire life, but the next morning, it's one of the worst. I can't do this. I just, I can't. Louis, I know you better than you know yourself. And I know it's only a matter of time before you change your mind. So I'm gonna give you a couple of days. And then I'm gonna contact you on this. It's a burner phone and it's completely untraceable. So when I call, you better be ready. Yeah. And when I say ready, what I mean is. No, 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 no,